<clears throat> okay. In this video, I'm going to show how to construct the birdhouse that has the slanted roof. So what I first did was little um, thumbnail sketches of what my template should look like. The front, the back, and the side. So this is going to be 4 inches, this is going to be 6 inches. So I need to make sure I do my templates correctly. And what is the back going to look like? Well, it's going to be 6 inches in height, 4 inches in width. And this is 4 inches right in here. So I made up my templates. I have a 4 by 4 square. I have my 6 by 4 slant. And I've got my 6 inch by 4 inch back. So I have three templates. And I have six sides to include the roof. So in construction, what you want to do is miter the sides. You want to put two sides up together. So what I started here was I scored the base. I've got a little bit of a slurry going on here, and that's what you see. It looks a bit muddy. And I mitered two of the sides of this um, slanted birdhouse, the slant part of the template. I'm just going to make sure that all the pieces are pushed up against the base. And I have it on a tile so that I can easily move it around. You're going to be working on a banding wheel on a tile so that you can easily move your piece around as well. All right, so I have one skinny coil and one attachment with mitered sides. So what does that mean? Well, I'm going to put the adjoining wall because I don't want to put an opposite wall. If I put these both up like this, they're going to want to flop on top of each other. And you can see one of them is already having a flop issue because it's by itself. So I'm going to put this one aside from now. All right. So mitering the edges, what that means is I'm just taking the corners off. So I'm cutting off about a 45 degree angle alongside the length side because that's the side that's going to be connected. I'm going to save these scraps. These are actually perfect for the skinny coil that you're going to need when you have your corners connected. Okay. Make sure that everything that touches is scored. slip on the spot. Now I'm ready to join these two sides. I'm going to pinch them together and now they're going to support each other. You always want to put up two walls together. Even if, if that's as far as you get, because to try to wrap one wall standing, it's not going to happen. Not well, anyway. It's not going to do well on its own. So two supporting walls. So I'm, while I have this part facing me, I'm going to pinch the sides together. Eventually, I'm going to paddle this once I've got everything up. So that'll snap the corners into place. It'll further attach these two. And I can be sure that it's not going to fall apart. All right. Okay. So how small of a coil should you put in those corners? Very small. If you put too much clay in there, you can actually have the opposite effect than keeping it together. A roll of clay that's too fat could actually push the walls apart from each other. So just a, a very small coil, and I'll show you here. Super skinny. And you want to put them right. 
new corner right up against the join where the floor meets the wall that's where you're going to put the coil you're going to use your brown wooden angle tool and just blend that in as best you can you don't want to see lumps and bumps once the roof is put on you're not going to have access to the inside so make sure that you work out any unevenness or any little openings or gaps or cracks before you put the roof on okay next side wall actually it's going to be my front I'm going to have it so that the birds opening to the birdhouse is on the slanted part the front is going to be the slant mitering the edges scoring as always with this project make sure you've got all your tools ahead of time warm water and a scratch tool a blending tool <clears throat> it could be a rib tool definitely this is my favorite tool it does so much so think of this as building of course a birdhouse but the same thing as a house you want the floors to support the walls so you're going to build the walls on top of the floor not on the side of the floor okay so now I need to not only put a coil here but in both my corners that are vertical too some of my scraps that I took out when I mitered and actually just tuck them in here and blend Just being careful not to put too much. It seems especially with slabs, they want to pull away from each other. So you want to do everything you can to have the attached pieces become one with each other. And it might sound philosophical, but it's true. They need to become one with each other. No openings, no sliver of a crack left. my last wall in. Okay, the edges are mitered. Scored, slipped, now connected. Again, making sure that the walls sit on top of the floor, not on the side, but on the top. I'm going to give them a little pinch together, and before I put the roof on, I'm going to add my inside coils to all the corners 
to all the attachments. Now, if you were building a traditional birdhouse, it would be the same. Your templates would be different, but the construction would be the same. <clears throat> you would want to put up two walls side by side at the same time, or one right after the other so that they immediately support each other. You would want to make sure that the base is where the walls go on top of and the walls don't go on the side of. <clears throat> You still want to miter the edges of the walls to connect. And once the basics, honestly, I think the most work is in the theme. When you're adding your theme, and of course that could be built upon, but that's where a lot of the, the fine detail work goes in. The construction, though, if it's a success, Anything you do on the outside is just going to be an added wonderful bonus with your theme. And you will be happy with it because I think the, the, the saddest thing is, is having something go wrong with the construction when you absolutely loved the theme and you had all this great detail worked out on the outside, but the corners just busted apart, you know, because they weren't attached well or, you know, the coil was forgotten and wasn't blended in and just came apart. It's it's very disheartening. So it's worth the extra work um, that we do to make sure that the corners are attached well and that everything is snapped into place. And working this small with soft slabs is nice because you do have the ability to remodel or um, work out any kind of issues. Leather hard slab working is good if you're working large because if pieces bend it's beyond frustrating. So working four by six perfectly fine with soft slabs. my coil down in there and blending it in by moving it right into place. Okay, so now the, the last thing I have to do is the roof. 